Why Rotary? Well, let's start with why it was founded. In 1905, a Chicago attorney named Paul P. Harris formed one of the world's first service organizations, the Rotary Club of Chicago. It was a place where professionals with diverse backgrounds could exchange ideas, form meaningful friendships, and serve their community. The name Rotary came from the group's early practice of rotating the meeting location among the offices of each member. And for over a century, the community has expanded all over the globe, and the exchange of ideas, friendships, and service has grown right along with it. Rotary has always been a magnet for leadership, not only in its members, but also in those who regularly present at Rotary meetings. Few places allow you to rub elbows with so many leaders and at the same time lend a hand to so many in need. You know, our fight to end polio is this close to succeeding. With over 1.2 million members in over 34,000 clubs worldwide, the networking and service opportunities are almost endless. And in every one of those clubs, the members are dedicated to service above self and maintaining the six areas of focus, promoting peace, fighting disease, providing clean water, saving mothers and children, supporting education, and growing local economies. Those focus areas and everything we do can always be put through our four-way test. Number one, is it the truth? Number two, is it fair to all concerned? Number three, Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And number four, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Are you a busy business or community leader whose heart is set to serve above self? Then we were made for each other. The meetings have stopped rotating, but our passion to network, share, and serve has not. Why don't you look us up? We'd love to invite you to our next meeting. Rotary, join leaders, exchange ideas, take action.